Maybe we can try a problem from here? Sure. Okay. Well, let's start at the top. Uh, we can try the first one. It would have been nice if you give us the structures, too. Oh, well, he gave you the answers, right? Yeah, but I mean, to be able to see the structure. You know, oh, well, if he gives you the name, you should we'll be able to draw the structure. Sure. So that'll give us no clue. Right. Well, it's not like the answers yet. So let's start by looking at the problem. So, do you have a copy of this? Yes. Yeah, do. Okay. All right. Well, I've just given you three demonstrations. So this time I'm going to give you more time to work on your own. All right. um, this time you want to try to get as far as you can on your own. And uh, if you get stuck, we can do this uh -huh. together. But let's try to um, try to work on this further on your own first. Before we do this together. Yeah. Thanks. So we're starting with number one, C8H10O.
Yeah, good. How many hydrogens in the group B? Two. Good. So you're trying so point. So you're trying to figure out what the group B hydrogens are, right? Yeah, well, I kind of determined mm -hmm. because I have such a large number, but I have right. no, like, I don't have a halogen. Good. And I don't know if oxygen, you could potentially move me that far over on an adjacent carbon. Right. So again, halogens uh, and oxygens are both, el both electronegative, so they have roughly the same effect. I'm only using X here. Maybe I shouldn't use X. This could be any electronegative element, either a halogen or an oxygen. They would both tend to move you to the left. So that, that would be good. Now, um, so which of these is the group B hydrogen uh, the group in your fragment? You're trying to figure, you're saying this fragment corresponds to group B, right? Correct. Which, which of them is the group B hydrogen? They can't both be group B because they're not in the same environment, right? Correct. Then I'm stuck. Which of these did you think was the group B hydrogen? This one on the carbon or this one on the oxygen? Well. They both have to be group B since they're... Yeah, they hydrogens. can't both be group B because they're not in the same environment. I understand that, but they're both two hydrogens in part. What group are they going to belong to then? Right. Okay. So A, B, C, D. Looking at this over here, you were saying, gee, it looks like these hydrogens are on a carbon that's connected to the oxygen because they're pulled so far to the left. I think that's, that's what you were thinking. So here's the oxygen and here's the carbon. Um, but you weren't saying this was the group B hydrogen, mm -hmm. right? You were saying this was the group B hydrogen. Uh, I haven't labeled either of them yet. Right. But you, you were thinking that this absorption came... I think it's more consistent with being on an alcohol. Oh, okay. Now, let's see. First of all, remember that alcohols don't do splitting. Remember we talked earlier that alcohol hydrogens don't do splitting, so this can't be the alcohol hydrogens because these are split. Awesome. You mean oh. if there's an alcohol, there's... there's alcohol hydrogens split. don't split other hydrogens and they don't get split themselves. Okay. Alcohol hydrogens in normal situations are always singlets. Okay. Alcohol hydrogens in normal uh, situations are always singlets. That's something we saw a little bit uh, somewhat earlier today. Then I, I think I might have it now. A... B, C, D. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank you for the clarification. That was the one clue I was missing is remembering right. that alcohols don't split. Right. And that would be consistent with D. Good. Good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. You figured out the degrees of unsaturation. How many degrees of unsaturation did you get? Four. Right. We have two times the number of carbons. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I should have written down the formula. What was the uh, formula here? CH. Two times the number of carbons plus two plus the number of. Nitrogen. I'm sorry. I meant the molecular formula. This oh, compound. Okay. I just wanted to write this down. So we have two times eight plus two, and then the number of hydrogens is ten. We've seen that we don't. We the number of oxygens doesn't appear in this formula. That gave us a four which already should make us start thinking maybe about benzene, because we've seen that benzene has four degrees of unsaturation, three pi bonds and a ring. And we do indeed have an absorption that indicates benzene. Again, we have this benzene absorption, 6.5 to 8.5. And this is just about the only thing that's very commonly absorbing here. So there's a very strong clue this would be benzene. 